Okay, welcome to my malware analysis tools review. We're, here we're going to be looking at strings. So, I went ahead, I already downloaded strings and string 64. Just like with the UPX, we need to go ahead and copy and paste it in our system32 folder. Most of what we're going to be doing is a 64 or the 32 bit version of it, but we do have a 64 bit just in case. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's open up our command prompt strings. And that's pretty common. So you'll get the license agreement, hit OK, and that's it. Well, when you're getting this type of prompt, just like with any command line, when you don't put all the commands there, it doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so, let's go ahead, let's change directories. We have our unpacked lab0102 file. So let's go ahead, let's do strings, and let's look at that lab file. Strings, lab0102 hyphen un exe and there it is it will look at what's important dot text our data at our data or sorry, at dot data so a lot of that is just BS uh, here we have the DLLs that are associated with kernel 32 ADV API MSV, CRT, WinINet. We have different modules like uh, create mute XA, create thread, exit process, and as we go through a little bit further down, mal service, internet open URL, A, internet open A, but notice we also get a URL. So I'm going to assume that if I ran this malware, it would actually pull and try to open that website. This mal service probably denotes that if I run the, this malware, it will not only connect to that website, but it will probably start this mal service uh, when the malware is ran. So again, that's kind of the purpose of the strings subcommand is so that we can start looking at the strings of data in a possible piece of malware. Again, this is the quick basic overview of the tool's string. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Again, I want to thank you.